Hello everyone, this is Super Dimensional Bun. Today I'm doing an unboxing video of uh, Bandai's non-grade 144 scale GM command um, from the OVA series Gundam 0080. This is the original vintage kit from 1989 and uh, retails for 500 yen. So let's go ahead and take a look at this kit or this box. So here's the uh, glorious 80s painted uh, illustration on the cover, which you know it's pretty cool. Uh, this is number two in the series, and uh, you know series name it says OVA, so you know reminds me how to pronounce it correctly. All right, We've got some description and some pictures on the side of the box. See the other side. All right, and the unpainted version of the kit. Let's go ahead and open this up. Right. Oops, got the instructions with an alternate uh, cover art. We'll go through that in a minute. And then we got the sprues. So here's the first set of sprues. So you notice it's old when they you see staples on the, uh, the bag itself. I don't know if Bandai still does that with reissues of this kit. So let's go, ahead and we'll go through this. side. Alright. Okay, what we got here is, of course, machine gun, hands, a backpack, some thrusters, parts for the feet, um, some clips for the hip armor, bottom portion of the shield, chest, and the feet. So these are actually, they'll pop on right on the bottom of the feet. I'm not sure why Bandai decided to separate it, just to uh, Maybe it saved them some plastic. I don't know. Right. Oh yeah, antenna and hip joints right there. We got the clear visor. It's pretty nice. All right, and the cockpit. The only red piece of plastic in this whole kit. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right. So yeah, I think this is a vintage kit. I mean, look how yellow this plastic is. You know, I didn't buy this thing just to let it sit, sit around. Let's open this up. Okay. This is something a little a bit of a bonus. I'm not. This is what a proof of purchase. I don't see these in any newer kits these days. All right. Not sure what I can do with that. So here are the stickers for the kit. Not too many. So you can zoom in here. Yeah, some stickers for the vents on chests. Uh, I'm not sure where these go. It might be on the feet. No, no, I'm sorry. This is shields. What was I thinking? All right, emblem for the shield and on the chest. Some triangles for the legs. Some details, yes. And I think this is part for the crotch armor. But that's it. Okay, so here's the sprues. So you got the main set of sprues right here. Got the head, two halves right there. The legs, two halves. So you know, an old non-green kit, non-green kit going on. Um, two halves for each lower leg. Covers for the feet. You don't really see that in um, most non-green kits. Um, usually it's just two pieces for a foot, but this is actually a little, little more. Like three pieces. Okay, shoulder armor, two beam, two long beam sabers, and two handles, um, and a waist armor, and some more armor there. All right. Okay, and this is the uh, last set of sprues. It's a non-grade kit, so you know, not a whole lot of set, not a whole lot of pieces there. Forearms, uh, side armor, armor for the top of the hands and the bicep areas. And this is something you don't see very often in old kits either. It's the um, armor that covers the ankles. So, yeah, it comes in one piece, which is really nice, because, you know, um, Bandai kind of reverted to two pieces for a bunch of years. You don't see that for another, like, maybe 10, 15 years. <laughs> they come in one piece, so. Kind of, I wouldn't say revolutionary, kind of ahead of its time, let's say. And, Last but not least, the polycaps. 
um, got pieces for the, the, the ankles, not the ankles, let me start, the knees. The ankles are right here, some really big poly caps. There's uh, the ball joints for the hip, and you got joints for the leg, uh, for the elbows and shoulders. Sorry, I think these are shoulders, these are elbows. I don't remember what these are for. And then you got one for the waist. But there you go. Okay, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the instructions. So, you know, back of the instructions are just a painting guide. So here's art on the inside. Got close to the head. And alternate GM design. And of course the accessories. So yeah, pretty straightforward. Thirteen easy steps. Or fourteen yeah, thirteen actually. <laughs> and you're done with this kit. So I look forward to buying that's oh not buying this. Look forward to um putting this thing together. We'll see how it happens and uh yeah, anyway. I hope you guys uh found this thing informative. See you again next time and I'll see you then.